Have you ever considered growing elderberries? Elderberries have been used medicinally for centuries. Elderberry, as far as I know, is probably as old as, as when the glaciers retreated. So it was a plant relative uh, before us, and so all indigenous people here have a connection with elderberry. But American elderberry production has mostly been limited to hedgerows and home use due to the uneven ripening schedule of its berries. As you probably know, if a crop doesn't ripen around the same time, it can make harvesting, maintenance, and pest management more difficult. Luckily for us, growers and researchers have identified several cultivars that are well suited for commercial production in the U.S. Midwest. People like Terry Durham of River Hills Harvest in Missouri and Chris Patton of the Midwest Elderberry Cooperative have pioneered a burgeoning American elderberry industry here. And since commercial production began, the demand for American elderberries has consistently outpaced supply by a lot. We need so many more growers to grow elderberries to bring this production up because it brings that health and wealth back to the right. farmers and to their communities. The demand is there, the profit's there, and now we just need the farmers to successfully start growing the elderberry. So why grow elderberries? First of all, they're perennial. Second, they provide ecosystem services like habitat for pollinators and other wildlife. Third, they provide farmers with a profitable crop. Let's look at some of the basics of preparation, planting, management, and harvesting. Elderberries are deciduous woody perennials. They grow upright, typically reaching a height of 8 to 12 feet. They self-propagate and spread via shallow rhizomatous roots, sending up new shoots as they spread. The flowers, which typically appear in June, can also be harvested and dried. The berries ripen in late August and early September in a cluster called an umbel. Elderberries grow in a wide variety of locations and soil types, but when cultivated for production, they do best in well-drained, fertile soil in a sunny location. They can be grown as part of a riparian buffer or as a row in an alley cropping design. Elderberries can also be grown in an orchard style, in blocks. This method makes harvest and maintenance more efficient, and so is often used for higher volume production. Elderberries prefer moderate to well-drained soil with a pH of 5.5 to 6.5. They thrive in full to partial sun. Elderberries can grow anywhere from zone 3 through zone 9. North American cultivars developed from wild plants perform much better in the U.S. than their European counterparts. Midwest developed selections with proven commercial success include Bob Gordon and Wildwood. Plant spacing is typically 4 feet apart with 10 to 12 feet between rows. They can reach full production in just three years. Harvesting flowers happens in June and July and fruit harvest can start as early as July and continues through September. Growers can create a variety of shelf-stable products from the flowers and berries. Elderberry flowers are used both fresh and dried for a variety of purposes, from teas to cordials. Any elderberry variety can be harvested for flowers. Some growers take a small portion of each flower since it can push the remaining berries to ripen more evenly. Research has shown that taking up to 15% of the flowers does not reduce the berry crop. The best varieties of elderberry will ripen evenly across the entire umbel or fruiting head. It is important to harvest only the ripe berries in order to maximize nutritional value, juice, and flavor. The challenge with elderberry harvest is carefully monitoring the berries to wait for peak ripeness, but not waiting too long. Harvesting methods vary based on both the scale of the planting and the size of the harvest crew. Growers simply break off the umbels and carry either a bucket or a bag with shoulder straps to haul them back to the wash and pack area. As with any fruit, the cool of the morning is the best time to harvest before the berries begin to hold the heat of the day. Growers then bring the berries back to a packing shed to de-stem, wash, and cool the berries. There are numerous options for marketing elderberries, and like most crops, the best option will depend on individual circumstances, scale, 
and marketing practices for other crops grown on the farm. Elderberries can be grown as a component of U-Pick operations. Consumers wanting to make their own medicinal items may find this option attractive, especially if the farm has the ability to de-stem the berries for them. Some farms have found that customers tend to damage plants in a U-Pick system. Other direct marketing options can also provide value to growers. Tinctures, syrups, jellies, jams, and wines can be unique and profitable elderberry products that take advantage of both the healing properties of the elderberries and the story of the farm and the region where they were grown. Always be aware of any requirements for food safety and processing in order to comply with state and federal regulations and to ensure customer well-being. Want to learn more about this amazing perennial crop? Visit savannainstitute.org slash elderberries to download our complete elderberry grower guide.